In this week's episode, an antelope with fur as valuable as gold makes a comeback, some amazing animal rescues, rare black leopards caught on film in Malaysia, and Denmark calls for a ban on circus animals. Off to Malaysia, where scientists have found a way to ID rare black leopards. Usually, the jet black cat's spots can't be seen, but when flashed with infrared light, their unique patterns come out in full force. That's not the only leopard story we have this week. Park rangers in Botswana spotted this bizarre skirmish between two adult leopards. Sometimes in battle, plain dead is the best option. Animal welfare groups have called for a countrywide ban on circus animals after an elephant pummeled a car last week. Danish law already prohibits circuses from using most wild animals in their acts, but elephants, zebras, and sea lions are exempt from this ban for historical and traditional reasons. And speaking of bans, Yala Park, Sri Lanka's largest safari park, banned the use of cell phones this week to help curb the amount of leopards killed by speeding vehicles. Rangers have found the bodies of several dead big cats in recent months, which they attribute to speeding cars rushing to find an animal once they've been tipped off to its location. Did you know that there is an antelope whose fur is worth its weight in gold? A scarf made from this Tibetan antelope, also known as the Chiru, can fetch up to $40,000 in the illegal trade. The high demand for these extravagant shawls nearly wiped them out, but a new report suggests they're beginning to bounce back. Moving on to some animal rescues. A humpback whale in Cape Cod was rescued this week after it was found badly tangled in fishing rope, much to the dismay of a shark who came by for a bit of opportunistic feeding. And beachgoers in Massachusetts worked tirelessly to save a stranded great white. They eventually managed to pull the huge fish back out to sea, but it took many hands and careful work. Staying in the ocean, Cornwall Wildlife Trust has launched an urgent appeal to save Cornwall's much-loved resident group of bottlenose dolphins. Their numbers have halved since the 90s and have now reached worrying levels. We're wrapping up with an update on Noli the Bear, the tiny cub that was rescued by raft guides in Tennessee last week. The little orphan is doing great thanks to the team at the Appalachian Bear Rescue. That's it for this week, but stay up to date with wildlife by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, we'll see you on the website.